guys and welcome to my channel so today i am doing a get ready with me style video because i said why not just switch it up and do something different um and this is going to be a video about me getting married at 20. so i know this is going to be a video people are going to be interested in because i'm so young and i made the decision to you know spend the rest of my life with someone so i thought it'd be a good idea to get ready and kind of just talk about my thoughts about getting married at 20 and my advice for you so let's just go ahead and get started so i went ahead and primed my face but i will say this is not going to be a tutorial video i'm going to be just doing my makeup and talking um so if i'm looking down i'm looking into a mirror but basically let's just talk about it you know um I've been with my husband now for five, uh, five and a half years, um, coming up to our sixth year next year, March 27th, and it's a really big, exciting moment for me. So next year, I do uh, have my six-year anniversary with my husband, and I'm pretty excited about that. That's you know a big deal for me the fact that we've been together for so long every time i tell someone that i'm married they're like wow you almost been high school sweethearts because you're so young and yeah we were i met when i was in ninth grade and he was in 10th grade and we've been together since and now i'm finishing up as a sophomore in college and next semester i'm going to be classified as a junior so I personally do believe that getting married at 20 is young, but I don't look at life like a lot of other people do. Um, I feel like I'm not a party person. I'm not into dating. I'm not into all that. When I date, I date with intention. And that's one of the tips I'll say for you. Just date with intention. Date with the intention that you're not just dating to get something out of someone or you know it's just for a short period of time or you don't see yourself with someone a long time um personally i would say is make sure that you know that hmm i actually wouldn't mind being with them for a few years or a few months you know like make it like that do not just date like oh it's whatever whatever we're doing you know so basically i want to break down a little bit of how we met um i was a freshman like i said i remember the day it was march 21st 2013 and it was at a track meet and he was running and i was in rotc at the time and i was timing the races for like a volunteer program with them and i was like really excited about that because i was going to volunteer so before that i used to see him all the time in the hallway only going to third period and i would think oh my gosh she's so like fine like i really want to know his name but i never found out his name everyone always said his name was like pierre and pierre is his brother's name so that was you know that didn't work out i never found out his name so at the track meet i was timing him and he was flirting with me a little bit and i was so excited and then he ended up pulling his hamstring so when he pulled his hamstring i was like where'd he go it was the last race of the night he was the anchor the fourth leg and then i went and checked to see what happened he pulled his hamstring and then i asked if he was okay he said yeah and that was it the next day on facebook he messaged me and was like autumn that's it so me being so young and childish i messaged him back delano with an exclamation point so it looked like i was thirsty <laughs> from the jump but i was really excited and then after that it was basically history we spent a lot of time together um hours and hours talking and on messenger instead of going to sleep and sneaking on facebook to text him because i didn't have a phone at the time and basically yeah that was it so march 21st we met basically march 27th i forced him into being my boyfriend <laughs> and i remember it was after school and he was catching the late buses as well as me and i basically just forced him and said no i'm your girlfriend and that was it so that was kind of our story it's you know not really too crazy but i remember it like it was just yesterday which is crazy that's the love of my life and i'm really excited and happy that we made it through it's been a very long road but you know of course growing up in puberty trying to be in a relationship is going to be a little bit harder than if you are older and you found someone that you really love especially going through high school with the challenges and stuff like that of growing up and we have in our own lives um especially and also growing up in two different households that's what you're going to also have to 
you know deal with so basically that's my story about how we met and stuff like that um a lot of people always are like oh my gosh you're so young and then they find out that we've been together for years and years and years so it really was like a high school sweetheart type thing you know we've had our challenges we've had our ups and downs but we've made it through and he decided that it was time for us to get married and that was the choice that he made which is you know, that was a big shock to me because I th always thought it was me that would be ready and say, let's go, let's go, let's go. But it was surely him. And I feel as if you have trust and patience and just know that you're young, um, then I think you'll be okay. I'm not saying marriage is for everybody. You have to do it with Jehovah in your heart and know that you have to put the creator first. And it's not just about you and the person. You also have to do it with Jehovah God. The advice I would give for young couples is just to date with intention and not to just be dating and going and messing around with a lot of people, you know, and not if, and I'm not saying if you want to settle down, but I'm saying in general is just to not just be dating everybody and sharing your flesh with everyone and doing all those type of things because that's not good and, and it's not pure. And also just to start young with the respect, you know? Respect the person that you're with in all aspects and do not just take them for granted because whatever you're gonna do to them, you would not want them to do to you. And it's not gonna feel good if you get hurt or they get hurt. And, and just imagine their feelings as well as yours in the long run. Are you gonna wanna deal with the arguments that the, finding out that you're cheating, you know, like all those type of things. If you're not gonna wanna deal with the flashback of whatever, the clashback of whatever you're gonna do, don't do it at all. So I wanted to talk a little bit about living and being married. So it's a lot different than I thought. Before we really stayed with each other about five, six days throughout the week, um, maybe more like six, seven days out the week. I've always seen him every day. I spent the night with him almost every night or every other night at least. So probably spent the night at least four or five times a week, but I've seen him like six, seven times a day, a week. But living with someone is totally different. And everyone was telling me that, but I was like, no, it's gonna be fine. Like we've spent the night at each other's houses. Well, I spent the night at his house. And then I'm with him all the time. Like it's not gonna be a big deal, but it is different. Like, let me tell you, living with someone is a whole different aspect. You see everything. Like usually you'll see things and you undermine it. But once you live with someone, it's just completely different. And I was not ready for it. Like, let's be real. He does things that get on my last nerve, but I love him very much. And, you know, I'm learning to, you know, cope a little bit better and not to get so mad at every little thing and just kind of, you know, do it. But first of all, hold on. Look at this palette. The, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Nirvana palette. Man, this is so pretty. First time using it, I've been having it for a little bit. Like, I can't even lie, he does a lot of things that get on my nerves, but you know, you kind of just learn not necessarily to deal with it, but to just deal with it in a better way and not have conflict, because I'm the type of person who always has conflict for everything. Um, but you know, that's one thing. You see things more that you may not like, or you do something in your household and they do something in their household that's both different and, and trying to find the compromise is definitely difficult and harder than I thought it would be. Um, everyone warned me about it, but I said no, it should be fine, but no, they're right. And also I'm not an insecure person, but everyone has their own insecurities and things that they deal with on their own. And I'm glad my husband doesn't care and he really does accept me for me. Some don't, that's why I'm only saying that, but like I can look any type of way he loves me which is amazing, I'm so thankful for that. Um, but living with someone, you have to accept that you have to be completely open with them. Like the insecurities has to go out the window and I'm still dealing with it myself, so I'm not gonna sit here in front like I'm I'm not. But it's, it's a lot. Like you have to be used to them being, you know, the any way they wanna look or, you know, fully unclothed, whatever you wanna, want to say but you just have to get used to it and accept it and know that they're not judging you they're your they clearly picked you that's your husband you're supposed to love them respect them and be comfortable around them but gosh 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 it surely is more difficult than you would imagine i personally don't mind being married at 20 i don't mind being married young um i know that i've been loving him and been wanting to marry him since i was 13 
but you know it's it's just something that you're gonna have to get used to um it's still weird it's been almost a month next weekend i'm pretty sure yeah next weekend makes a month that we've been married and i'm still not used to calling him my husband um i'm still not used to referencing my husband I'm, it's just it's different it's something that you're definitely gonna have to get used to also you have to get used to every time you say that you're married if you don't have a ring yet people looking down and then make oh making those type of remarks and stuff like that um i'm getting a ring in four days i'm so excited i finally found the one that i'm looking for last friday it's monday last friday i found my perfect ring and i'm so excited because i'm getting it and it's my dream ring and you know it's a little bit pricey but i'm gonna have it for the rest of my life so i want something that i'm gonna love and enjoy i put a little bit too much highlighter on but so I just finished getting ready. Hopefully I don't have any lipstick in my mouth. Um, but yeah, so basically that is, of course it's starting to rain. I'm right in front of my window and now I'm like, really? But yeah, so that's basically everything I wanted to say about getting married at 20. Um, I don't think anything is wrong with it. I think that you're never too young for something when you know it's right. Um, I'm not implying that you need to get married young because sometimes, a lot of the times people make mistakes. Um, there's a lot of things that you're gonna have to get used to, like sharing finances, um, looking to your husband as the head of the family to make more decisions, and it's a lot. So just make sure that whatever you do is right and think it through. I knew that we were gonna be together and pretty sure he knew, of course, clearly he married me. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited and I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of just my thoughts on it, not really, you know, real reason to do this. Um, but yeah, so I'm Mrs. Burks. And it's so weird too, giving up my maiden name. I still have to change my license, my social security card, and everything that's in my name. Um, <laughs> so I need to change all that, but I'm waiting on my marriage uh, license to come in the mail. So hopefully by around next week, or this week actually, since it's Monday, it will come through. Um, but thank you so much guys for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.